Hey guys, how you doing? Jake here, I'm Jake and Dar. It's, uh, it's a nice Friday night. It's about 10.30 uh, p.m. And I'm gonna do a couple of beer reviews tonight. One right after another. May as well get them done, eh? I'm gonna do the beer review a couple tonight. And tomorrow night I'm gonna do the Paul Lehner, the one liter, big mother. So look what I've got tonight. Look, check it out, check out this beer. Have a look at that. It's Boris. It's called Boris, and it's from France? Yeah. The Alaskan, or sorry, the Alsatian flask. It's a bit hard to read the, the wording on here. But uh, no, I'm not going to bother reading that. It's a bit, bit tough to read, so. Anyways, picked this up about a week ago, I guess. Looks like a fairly nice can. I guess Boris has got a few different beers, different styles of stuff. And oh, just before I get into that, I want to uh, I want to show you something. I, the other day we were at Valley Village too, and uh, you know every time I go to Valley Village, of course I got to go down and I got to check out all the beer glasses or all the glasses in general to see if there's anything cool. And lo and behold, I picked up myself a great looking, a friggin' great glass, just a beautiful glass. Check it out. Have a look at this. The Rickards glass. Very, very nice glass. It's got a very thick, very thick um, walls to it, and it's even got a nice heavy base on it. Like look at that, like, like a big, huge, heavy base. It's got the, it's got the Rickards, uh, it's got the Rickards uh, engraving in the glass or uh, etching in the glass, and it, and it's even got the. Uh, Rickards engraved around the outside on the bottom, and this here is indented. I guess you know, a little bit of an indentation. So it's a very nice glass, very wicked. It weighs about a pound all by itself. They're really quite heavy. You could easily knock someone out with this. Knock someone right out if you had to. <laughs> I'm just saying if you had to. <laughs> home protection, you know. You could use it for home protection. Let's get this beer open and get it on the grill here. Check it out. See what it's like. Cracker open. Give her a pour. I'm gonna pour it into this one. Here goes for the uh, the Boris. Like it's just a yeah the Boris uh, Alsatian Al Alsatian flask. I guess it is something like that. I don't like pouring from a can very much, but here we go. Yeah, it looks like a nor normal average beer, I suppose. It's maybe a little bit on the flat side. Maybe I don't know. There's lots of bubbles. Not much carbonation coming out of there. Well, there you go. It just fit, look. It just fit, and that's 500 mils. It's a half a liter. So this glass, this Rickard glass holds just a, just a half a liter. Not much, no head on the damn thing, though. The head disappeared, or it didn't get much of a head, but let's give it a sniff and see. Oh, well, kind of smells like a normal, normal average ale, I guess. I think it's an ale. Could be a pilsner. I don't know. It doesn't seem to say. I checked the website. I don't even. I don't even know whether it's a nail or a pilsner or a lager. Anyways, let's taste it and get it over with. <laughs> no. Hmm. Well, beers don't normally go skunky in a can very long, but. I'm not saying it's skunky, but let's just have another sip here and taste this sucker and see what it's like. Jeez, that's pretty heavy all by itself. That's pretty heavy, man. That's like, with that beer in there now, it's like a good solid two pounds. <laughs> like, that's awesome. I love that glass. I love good heavy glasses. I like all, I like good, you know, like unique style of glasses and stuff like that with etching and good graphics on it, but I really like glasses and mugs that are really thick and heavy, because at least then I know it's going to last a lot longer. Well, it should, as long as you don't drop it on concrete. But yeah, jeez, you wouldn't be able to hold that up for, for too long. Try holding that up for 10 minutes. <laughs> Straight out. Anyways. Anyways, 
It's a little bit malty. It's got, you know, considerable malt flavor. It did, it seems to be a little on the flat side for some reason. I don't know why, but who knows, maybe it's been in the can for, for a couple of months. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be very carbonated. That's why I didn't get a whole lot of head on it. There's only a few few bubbles kicking up through from the bottom, but... Um, it's got a bit of a dry aftertaste. And you know what? <laughs> this is going to sound weird. You know what? I don't... I suppose this comes from... from, from France, I guess? Europe? The, the website is beer, beersboris.com, B-I-E-R-E, boris.com. But I don't know, if you guys were to try this, if you guys would ever get your hands on this Boris beer, and it, for some reason it's really reminding me, it's, it's got a very close taste to a beer here that we, hear, that we have here in Nova Scotia called Alexander Keith's India Pale Ale. Just the regular stuff. Just the regular Alexander Keys India, India Pale Ale. But it's not, it's not a real pale, uh, India Pale Ale. But man, does this ever taste the same. Okay? It, it is just so identical. Like it's just an average. Like it just tastes like a... It's not even that great. I mean, I'll have to say it's, it's definitely not great. Um, it's drinkable. It's drinkable. It's a little under the average flavor-wise. Like, it, like I mean, you know, Alexander Keys. Uh, to me, it's not great beer. It's just drinkable beer. You know, it's it's it, you know, it's it can, you can drink it, but it's not something you sit back and say, "Wow, this is a terrific beer. This is one of the best beers." It's not. It's not one of the best beers. I mean, again, you know, like like just. It's malty, it's got a little bit of bitterness, not much, like a hop bitterness, a tiny, very, very low. IBUs would be like maybe 10 or something, you know, in the realm of no more than 10. <laughs> but, uh, man, I don't know if you guys ever try that. Try it sometime, if you ever see that in your area. Try comparing this side by side to an Alexander Keys IPA, Night and New Pale Ale. I bet you they're almost, the taste is almost identical. Like it's just so close. Very slight differences. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to pound that back. And then I'm going to get on to the... Uh, I'm going to be reviewing a, a Bell Havens here in a few minutes. And I'm hearing that's a very good one. At very best, I'd, I'd have to give it a middle ground. I'd have to give it 2.5 out of 5. It's drinkable, but it's not great. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by, and I appreciate it. I'm going to work on this one, and i get right to the next one. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. We'll see you later, and you keep your mugs full. All right? Cheers.